What's up YouTube, Craig here, and this is my brand new Fantex Enthu Evolve ATX computer case. It's a mid-tower, uh, tempered glass edition, so as you can see, windowed panels on both sides. Very, very nice, very nice. Uh, I got this Galaxy Silver uh, color. Uh, it comes in a few different colors. Uh, I like this one, kind of looks like a Mac, like a Mac Pro, um, the old Mac Pro. Uh, it's the same kind of material as uh, the MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, the anodized aluminum. Really sturdy. This is a lot more sturdier. Uh, very nice and hard, and uh, you can tell it's well made. Uh, I'm about to show you the power button up top. It uh, it's a uh, lights up uh, whatever color you'd like it to. Uh, all the colors are controlled uh, by the button right of the I/O ports. You can get it uh, red, green, blue, whatever you'd like. It, it synchronizes with the uh, LED strip. It all becomes this, the uh, the same color. So right there, you got two USB 3.0, your headphone jack, your mic jack, and then there's your button right there that controls your colors. Again, it synchronizes all together, and you'll see later. Right here is going to be your thumb screws. I uh, fastened your window together. These are really to get on, easy to get on and off. Okay, so here is the build. Uh, right away, you can see um, very striking features. I have a uh, Gigabyte Z170X Gaming 7 motherboard in there. That's a uh, Skylake uh, Intel Core i7 6700K underneath that CPU cooler right there. Uh, I just want to point out real quick, uh, along the right, uh, you can see a bunch of uh, little rectangles uh, and some places to mount things. Those are for if you wanted to add in as many as let's see one two three four five uh, as many as five three and a half inch hard drives if you'd want uh, now again uh, you have to watch out because if you're mounting a extensively long uh, GPU card like what I have uh, you'd only be able to fit a couple um, you just gotta do your research before you go ahead and start mounting but those rectangles pop out and that's how you would plug up your SATA power and your SATA uh, data connections to your hard drives. Now down below here you'll see my crucial one terabyte SSD. Uh, that's for my Windows side. Games take up quite a bit of space so the one terabyte definitely does help. Um, I like my games on a solid state drive, very fast loading times and very doable. Um, I really really like the positioning of this SSD and how Fantex has you uh, able to mount it right there. Very simple to mount. You just connect the screws and then just slide it on. The cables come up from behind and you can barely see any cables. Really really nice cable management in this case. Uh, I love it. Uh, I didn't do so well on the back side and you'll see that in a minute. Uh, to the left here we have the EVGA 850 watt generation 2 supernova power supply fully modular. Uh, so regular ATX power supply mounts in here uh, very easy. Um, I didn't have to remove this whole, although it is removable, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. Didn't have to remove this whole shielding that you see shielding it, but I uh, was able to just get it in there and then hook up all the cables with no issue. Okay, you can see to the right of the CPU is my RAM. And I got two 8GB, so total 16GB kit of RAM. It's Crucial, Ballistics, Elite, DDR4 RAM. This is Skylake, so DDR4 is good to go. Do I see a huge difference between DDR3 and DDR4? No, but it's the latest and greatest, so there you go. Uh, the CPU cooler cooling it is a Corsair Hydro Series 105 Extreme Performance Edition. Uh, it's a 240mm radiator. Uh, I have two... I actually replaced uh, the 220 millimeter fans cooling it. Uh, it was Corsair fans, uh, and I replaced them with Cooler Master 120 millimeter green LED fans uh, because I thought uh, that the green LEDs would look good uh, because you don't have the option of changing your graphic card uh, LED. It's pretty much you're going to get your EVGA green GeForce GTX. So I wanted it to match everything, but it doesn't because the LEDs on the co the Cooler Master fans is just like one LED and it's not that bright. You can't really see it. And Corsair didn't have any green LED fans. Uh, I'm actually just going to go straight up uh, and buy just plain Jane fans, no LED. But I'll let the cat out of the bag right now. I do not like these Cooler Master fans. I think they're cheap. Um, I think the lights look like crap uh, in them. So I'm just going to go uh, without the lights uh, in the 120 millimeter fan. Put the Fantex. 140 millimeter fan that was in the rear back in there and then just use the LED strip uh, for my lighting anyway because that LED strip when you see is going to light the case up pretty good. 
Also, you can see I have a EVGA GTX 980 Ti graphics card. Um, and if you are admiring the red cables coming out there, uh, those are the EVGA red uh, T2 power supply cable set. They're individually sleeved. Um, so I think uh, it looks really, really nice than just your plain old braided cables or, or whatever comes with your power supply. So really nice addition to the case and my build. Uh, and the last thing I want to point out right here is right below the graphics card, you will see a little tiny card. That's my Bluetooth Wi-Fi card. Uh, I love that thing because I hook up Bluetooth speakers. I use, instead of getting, uh, like I got uh, PlayStation now, I've been playing PlayStation and I got a DualShock 4 controller. And instead of buying the 25, I think it's $25 transmitter, uh, I just downloaded a program and now it just transmit through Bluetooth and I'm good to go. So I've actually found a lot of use uh, using this Bluetooth Wi-Fi card and I've seen people um, post things and asking, oh, I can't get Bluetooth to work or I should have bought a motherboard and got Bluetooth and Wi-Fi integrated. Uh, why? There's no uh, sense in doing that because the Gigabyte uh, GC-WB867D Bluetooth car. This is 4.2 Bluetooth. It's like 25 bucks and you're good to go. It takes care of all your needs for Wi-Fi. Uh, it has A, C, B, G, and N uh, dual band frequency. So both your 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So you're good to go. Uh, this is a very, very cheap upgrade for your computer and I highly recommend it. Okay, in the bottom there, you see a little white strip coming in. That is the Fantex multicolor LED strip. It's a 2 meter and basically, um, I didn't want to get one meter and then feel like I didn't have enough. So I just got the two meter one, ran it as far as it goes and called it a day. This is an optional upgrade. You need to buy it separately. It does not come with this case, uh, but it plugs in. It has a little tag uh, on a cable that says, hey, plug your LED strip in here. So that was easy. As you can see, there's a bunch of CPU fan ports on the back. So you can run all your CPU fan cables to the back if you would like. Uh, I did not. I have a splitter, and so I only needed a few. Um, you can see I didn't use a two and a half inch hard uh, SSD or hard drive. Uh, I'm only running with two: one on the uh, front, that's my Windows; one on the back, that's my Hackintosh. I had Linux, but I'm not going to run a third operating system, so I'm going to do without. Um, I got my two eight terabyte hard drives for storage, uh, so that's all you need. Just want to point out real quick at the bottom of this case, there's a space where you can stuff a bunch of cables in there, make things a little more tidier, a little more nicer. The last thing I want to touch on, on the back side of the case, you see the rectangle cutouts. And basically those are for your SATA power, SATA data connections, when you're mounting your three and a half inch hard drives on the other side.
disconnect I wanna break free I wanna cut off the better call electronic lease I'll plug my phone Wanna blow up my screen Don't wanna hear other lies and the lines that sound to me Okay, this is the Fantex Multicolor LED Strip. I ran it up through the radiator and it is magnetized so it sticks to the case. I went through the radiator and down into the case where it plugs into the Fantex cable that is identified with a black tag, white lettering. It says plug your multicolor LED strip into here. And this is the final product. This is what it looks like all lit up and the glass on it and everything. I think it's really sharp, really nice. Again, I'm going to change those fans out. But I hope you liked it. And if you did, uh, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. I appreciate everybody for watching. Take care.